Hello, I'm Chad Carlton with Nona's Italian American Cafe, and today what's cooking local is a homemade Sicilian Cosmo with homemade limoncello. So the Sicilian Cosmo only requires three ingredients. And the first ingredient is homemade limoncello. It's quite a process to make the limoncello. We start with about 10 to 12 lemons. We zest very, very carefully to only get the zest off the top of the lemon. About 10 to 12 per liter of Everclear, which is 190 proof grain alcohol. We let those soak for anywhere to six to 10 weeks, just depending on preference. It's best to keep it out of light most of the time. Um, and then once it's finished, we combine it uh, one to one with a simple syrup mixture, which is a, a, a sugar solution, which is rated two to one sugar to water. When that's finished, we bottle it and chill it. It's supposed to be served ice cold. Most oftentimes in Italy, you find it under the cover. So first you want to start with equal parts limoncello and pomegranate liqueur. Pomme liqueur is an excellent one. So we'll go one and a half ounces of each. We're going to shake that with ice. It'll be served up in a martini glass. It should get a really nice pink hue to it. I know with the limoncello being cut one to one, it's still going to be about 90 proof, which is a little bit stout for a classic martini. So we top it off with ginger ale, just a couple of ounces. Two. And this is the homemade Sicilian Cosmo. Our next drink is called the Basil Grande. It's a very Italian-inspired drink. You'll need a few special ingredients. One would be a strawberry puree, which is very simple to make. You just puree strawberries to taste. Some people like it a little bit extra tart, combined with a two to one simple syrup ratio, and it'll get a nice kind of runny flavor to it. So we'll start with a pint glass and fresh basil. We're gonna take about three large basil leaves. You just wanna tear them in half, and there's no need to muddle them, because the basil flavor really comes out in the drink. Then you want to take your strawberry puree, get about just one ounce, pour that over the basil. Go ahead and add your ice. And then begin combining your ingredients in order. Three quarters ounce of beef eater gin. I like beef eater because it's a little bit drier. Three quarter ounce of absolute vodka. And this just is just to add a little bit of extra kick to make it an alcoholic drink without influencing the flavor too much. A half ounce of Grand Marnier, a half ounce of raspberry liqueur, and then you just want to go ahead and shake those. Not too violently or you'll bruise the basil leaves and you'll expose a little bit too much of the basil flavor. From there, you want to add a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Just two or three grinds, and this again is to taste. And then you'll want to finish it with cranberry juice. Give it one more stir back and forth. And it's garnished with a fresh basil leaf. And I'm Chad Carlton with Nona's Italian American Cafe, and that's what's cooking local.